welcome to the Fia Lab tutorial series. In this video, we'll cover how to replace a cadmium column on a Fia Lab or Latchet instrument. We'll start out by showing how to switch out one Fia Lab column for another, and then talk a bit about general tips for cadmium columns. Please note, if you primarily use Latchet instruments and this is your first time using a Fia Lab column, it may require some additional steps that will be detailed in a different video. This is how a Fia Lab column looks installed on an instrument. Before starting, ensure the switching valve is in the off position. Be sure to wear gloves throughout the process and clean any drips with a damp paper towel or Kim wipe. Remove the column from the clips. On the new column, remove the plug from one end. The caps on the ends are screwed in very tight, so you may need a screwdriver to get them loose. Try to keep the column level to avoid any buffer leaking out. In the old column, remove the tubing from both ends. Remember to pinch the tubing while unscrewing the nut to avoid the tubing twisting and becoming damaged. Set the old column aside on the bench for now. Screw the tubing onto the bottom of the column first. It's bi-directional, so use whichever end you remove the cap from. If the ferrule is stuck, you can use your finger or the inside of the threaded port to break the ferrule away from the nut so it will turn freely and then simply screw it back into the column. Alternatively, if you wish to replace the nut and ferrule entirely with new ones because either the old ones are dirty or just worn, you can do that very easily as well. Simply remove the old nut and ferrule and install the new ones like this. Then, before screwing into the column, pre-tighten the nut and ferrule using a union. This ensures that the tubing is flush with the end of the ferrule and does not stick out into the column, which can cause plugging. Once the bottom of the column is connected, remove the plug from the top of the column and screw the tubing into this as well. Put the column then back into the clips. Finally, use the caps from the new column to seal the old column. It is recommended to run a quick conditioning run followed by an efficiency check after installing a new column. To do this, simply run 10 injections of your highest standard, followed by your nitrate to nitrite checks. Efficiency is calculated by dividing the nitrate response by the nitrite response. Generally, you want to see an efficiency of 90% or higher. If you need more information, we've compiled a thorough breakdown of this process in the user manual that came with your column. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or you'd like to order a column, you can use the link shown in the description of the video for more information. Fialab, Fluidics Intelligently Automated.